Hello, welcome back. Today I'm doing a little bit different reading. It's not going to be a birthday reading, but we're going to do a love reading. So this is for the General Collective. I actually did this spread on uh, Saturday, March 14th, but <clears throat> I am guessing because of the whole pandemic crisis going on that all the YouTubers in the world have been uploading videos because when I tried re-editing my March 14th video, it said it was going to take anywhere from 10 to 25 hours to upload. And it did. It took like a really long time. The first time I put it on and the second time I re-edited it, it just, it wasn't going to happen. So I, as you can see, uh, re-edited the video because the cards when I did the layout it was actually the picture was missing half of the spread from the uh, app that I used to edit it so I didn't like it and I redid it with uh, Movavi instead of the uh, iMovie app so just so you know this is a love reading from March 14th but we're gonna put it out today Today is 11.46 on uh, March 16th, so we're the day before St. Patty's Day. So I'm off tomorrow, so I'm going to be putting out a whole bunch of videos, so look forward to that. So I did a uh, thing <laughs> on Amazon. They have the Romance Angels Oral Cards by Doreen Virtue. However, as you know, Doreen Virtue no longer is doing Oracle Cards or Tarot Cards, and these are obsolete. I do have the uh, French version of these cards, which I paid money for, but obviously because I don't speak French, I can't even read them or the guidebook. So <clears throat> I found these. They're El Chibo. The reviews were good, so I figured I'd get them. They're pretty good because considering they're gold-plated just like the originals were, but they're just like regular playing cards, but I like them. They look exactly like the original Doreen Virtues. They're just not the size or the quality of the card, but that's fine with me. I actually don't mind the smaller version card. So they're from China. Hopefully they don't carry the coronavirus. <laughs> so just to let you know, the left side I have for the male counterpart and, or not male, but just if you're a woman, it could be male. If you're a male, it could be your woman or whatever you are, whatever your intention is. But the right side is you, the left side is the other person, okay? If you are... <clears throat> transgender or anything else you know I don't discriminate or judge so your intention this is the other person this is you the overall energy at the top between you two is worth waiting for so divine timing is at work in your love life between the two of you now this relationship could be forthcoming so you may have not met this person or maybe you have um, I'm going to give all the options that I see <clears throat> and we will decipher that. But right now, with the Four of Swords, it's kind of like you are resting, maybe manifesting, taking time out, taking care of yourself, doing what you need to do. Typically, when you see a uh, black crow here like you do in the, the card, that usually means in movies like foresha foreshadowing of death, right? So in this picture, you could be taking a step back from the end of a relationship of some sort. This is your energy currently. <clears throat> and then the other person is working very hard and diligently on their money. Okay. So, just to give you some key words from, oh, this is the Chira Marchetti deck that I'm using. 
the gateway to the divine tarot actually i'm sorry no that's the name of the book that comes with this but this is the legacy of the divine tarot so with the four of swords this is saying that you need recuperation rest and activity and physical healing and <clears throat> the figure in this card is in a deep trance or meditation and he is dead to the world maybe hence the crow it would be a good time to step back from your busy life. Distance and respite is needed. Everyone's talking about social distancing, so maybe that's the case here. So take time to your, for yourself to recuperate and recharge. So <clears throat> if this was a past relationship with this person, you might be just taking a step back from the relationship and from this person. If this is not someone you've met yet, you might just be doing this currently, just kind of focusing on yourself. So with the three of coins, we have a man that is working very hard. This is success, completion, pain employment, constructive force, someone who is clever, very productive, a skilled laborer, uh, has rank and financial gain. So this craftsman is very hard working on one coin with emerald insets. And he's in completely engrossed in this work, right? Two of the coins are hanging on the wall. And there are blank co coins and tools stored behind him. <clears throat> so that means that this talent, skill, and effort can be, by can be combined to create things of worth and beauty. Success comes with time and application, so just like a relationship, it takes work, and success comes with time. Uh, this card represents right livelihood, so make sure that uh, you're working on something that you can look back on with pride. Loving your work, work hard, and pay attention to the details. So maybe right now this person is just working really hard. Not even focusing on their love life, just focusing on their money, focusing on their job, and the task at hand. Or if you guys are together, he could be or she could be working on this relationship diligently and the financial stability of this relationship. While you maybe are taking a break, maybe you're in quarantine, resting, relaxing, doing you. Okay? So then <clears throat> the next layout was what does the person and you think in your head mentally about this relationship? And for the significant other, we have Knight of Swords. So they're coming in swiftly here. This is a quick action. And swords usually speak about communication. Um air so maybe you will receive a message from them via phone via mail via text <clears throat> and then you have page of coins in between you two which just to clarify is a very generous diligent careful courageous preserving simple innocent, young, reflective. So you both could be maybe reflecting on this relationship mentally. You're both thinking about each other. Maybe when you guys are with each other, you feel young at heart and curious as to what the other is up to. Because it is coins, uh, it does signify earth and also finances so maybe you're thinking about you know the financial stability of the other going through hard times right now <clears throat> just thinking about their overall well-being and this is also a seasonal attribution of spring so maybe you're thinking in the spring of coming together the advice on this card is to deal with issues realistically, directly, and in a forthright manner, which you both could be thinking of. Earth, um, 
the earth aspect of this card is that you have earth combined with earth which strengthens itself so this is a very strong card this is a manifesting force where senses strengthen the senses so maybe you both are manifesting this relationship also if you don't know each other and you're wishing for this other person <clears throat> it also could just be manifesting maybe coming back together or if you are together it could be manifesting strengthening your financial stability together too on your side you have the two of coins which is trying to balance now you have the wheels looks like set in motion going away from this other person and this relationship currently so that could just be because you're busy trying to balance your own situation and not really focusing on this too much it could also be trying to balance work and personal life or if you're dating a couple people although I think dating is kind of hard right now that maybe you're juggling you know a couple of people on your line the card for which I got in the mental what do you think of each other is true love so you think of each other as each other's true love and this is the romance of a lifetime so if you have already met each other and this is a past relationship and you wish for them and you're trying to manifest them back this is something that you think that is your true love or if you are together currently you think this the same or maybe you're just trying to manifest true love in general for the next row I intended what do you feel about this relationship so like in your heart what do you feel so on the uh, significant other side you have three of cups and you have music here so I think that you both like music a lot um, it kind of reminds me of like a free spirit type card like a gypsy uh, card the cup in the middle is kind of overflowing while the other two cups look kind of empty but cups nonetheless speak of love relationships <coughs> excuse me and emotions so maybe um, if you guys are in separation your cups are feeling empty but the cup in the middle maybe signifying the emotions between you two are full and overflowing because well this is on their side so they could be remembering maybe times that you had shared music together of some sort maybe you went to a concert together maybe you played music together or just listened to certain songs together maybe you both are fans of record collection uh, maybe you were in a musical group together. And I almost want to say that this side is definitely male because of the woman in the cups as well. But it could just be that the other person has more that they're the person they're thinking about your significant person is uh, thinking about you and maybe you have more feminine qualities but the card keywords for this are pleasure fun entertainment parties drinking celebration so maybe they're thinking about how they were celebrating or having fun with you uh, lucky turn planned pregnancy a group of friends and <coughs> excuse me I apologize this card represents merriment enjoyment and celebration so there's much to appreciate and acknowledge um, maybe they just are thinking about you know in their heart how they were so happy when they were around you and how jovial and musical uh, their life was with you in it 
when I think about you. The next card we have uh, is the wheel. So I'm going to pull out the two cards that were in between you. And this is really, I think, amazing here in this layout because they have the wheel and you have the world. So that is in the center of your relationship here. And if you know the wheel, the world, the wheel is always spinning, right? And in this card, you have all the signs. The world is very cylindrical, or circular, I should say, with all the signs as well. So, this almost tells me that you guys, it, it just, it kind of coincides with this true love, how you guys feel about each other here. And that almost like in the, in the top, how this is worth waiting for, divine timing is at work in your love life, at the very tippy top here, you know, is where this card actually belongs. I just don't have room for it. Let me see if I can put that there. I don't know if it's going to stay. <clears throat> but, you know, this just goes to show that divine timing has its place. You have this, I don't know what it's called, I forget, but a uh, time capsule with the sand of time where the time is run out. So it's almost like it's the end of the time. The wheel and the world. So the wheel cycle usually signifies the end and the beginning of something. But so does the world, and the world can be very lucky. Um, I want to just read the descriptions for you so you can kind of understand a little bit better, too. Because I was just so entranced with that you got these two cards right next to each other. So complimentary. So, like, the world uh, is... Global issues, success, world-shaking events, karmic completion, reward, integration, accomplishment, involvement, fulfillment, involution, and evolution. So this could be growth for you on your side in the relationship. The world represents the triumph of completion. It is the last card in the progression of the major arcana and the goal of the spiritual path. You may experience many sing can I say this word today? <laughs> Synchronicities and feel like you are at the right place at the right time. Lessons have been learned and you are now ready for whatever the next level may be. So you're feeling fulfilled and feeling your place in the universe. While the wheel is more about the uh, beginning and end. Where's this wheel? So, the wheel is about movement, destiny, big change, new adventures, karma, so they're both about karma, fortune, creativity, turning point, personal vision, new life, cycles, again, evolution, progression, patterns, fate, self-realization, luck, and rotation. It's like you both are realizing with very similar cards that this is fate, that this is something that, you know, is destiny, and that divine timing is coming into play with this. This wheel card means that at its basis, change is stability. Everything in the universe is impermanent and in constant flux. The wheel is very optimistic, so that means, like, the significant other is very optimistic about you in this relationship. Thanks to its an attribution of Jupiter, the wheel is lucky and adaptable, it means it's flexible. New opportunities will come and you'll land on your feet. Good luck, fortune, and timing. So they're both very cyclic cards. I've got a room, uh, I'm getting a little tired. And then you have the Knight of Cups. And I'm going to 
look at my old wider rate back here and find the Knight of Cups to tell you the speed at which that comes in because I always forget. I know the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest, the Knight of Swords is the fastest. I think it's the Wands that is the second fastest, so the Cups is like still fast, but it's a little bit, yeah. It's like Knight of Pentacles is like walking. And the Knight of Cups is like the speed of taking a car. So you're not going as fast as a train or as an air or an airplane. Yeah. So it's the Cups is the third fastest. So it's a uh, pretty slowly moving energy. You know, as fast as a car will go. It's not as fast as an airplane or train. But you're thinking about this emotion as well. And the Knight of Cups. You both have the Cups. And here's the woman. And this is the Knight on the other side. That's why you can see I'm thinking this is more feminine. This is more male. Okay. So it's like you're thinking about your significant others, for sure. You're thinking about their charm. Um, the key words of this card are lover, introspective, refined, sensitive, charming, warm, emotionally warm, flirts, good listener, enjoys interacting with people, winning personality. So that could be describing your significant other, your male counterpart. So then what you feel is very soon, which I would definitely say, you know, it's not right away. It's not absolutely soon. It's not forever. It's very soon. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, which is basically what you guys are doing, is manifesting this back in your heart very soon. So then the last story is about, well, what is the overall outcome, the possibilities? And on the significant other side, you have wands that they're feeling burdened. They're not reaching their... <clears throat> goal destination here for something is weighing them down maybe they're uh, with the triangle maybe they're in another situation with somebody else so they're not able to come back to you and here you have the queen of wands maybe you are their queen of wands their fire their heart because that is in between you um, again this money is definitely in between you guys. You guys are both thinking about money, the abundance, reaping the abundance. Her bowl is empty, but there's a harvest of wheat and the coin is in the tree ready for picking. It's like it hasn't been put into the basket yet, but it wants to be picked. And then on your side, you have the ace of coins, which again is a message of financial stability uh, could be inheritance could be just um, a message of some sort here let me get the keywords so the keyword is Privacy, health, legitimacy, property, new prospects, fruitfulness, productivity, uh, materialism, perfect contentment, gifts, and your inspiration, motivation, idea, or plan needs to make it into the physical world to be meaningful or have impact. Base of Coins is the very start of this process. 
the investment of time, money, energy, or other resources is needed. It's a great time to get started and your new venture is very promising. So, you know, you have to put time into a relationship. With the seven of coins, you have the fruits of the labor, disappointment, reevaluation, misery. So this could be disappointment because right now this person is not able to come to you. Um, you may feel that the progress has been slow and the full potential hasn't been realized. So maybe you're realizing both of you that this is, you know, the what could have been type of relationship. Um, with the Queen of Wands, Wands is fire. So, this is a very, um, Earthy queen too, um, very nurturing of independence and self-expression. As you can see, her eye makeup. She advises you to be engaged, passionate, and creative and to not hold back. Very commanding presence and very uh, passionate. The key words of this queen of wands is that she's very generous, self-governing, dramatic, optimistic, performer, authority, capable, commanding. So this could also be the uh, outcome of the feminine part of the male counterpart, or it could be thinking about your feminine uh, generosity, individuality. And then the other outcome is the cups. Contentment. Thankful. And it's almost like you're wanting to come and be this and you are willing to put in the time and energy. This person definitely thinks about you and wants this to happen, but ultimately I think this just might be a disappointment because this person seems so burdened and while they are very individual and commanding and generous for whatever reason they're just in the end not able to come as you're in this abundance of contentment they are burdened so the last card shows that this is the soulmate so yes this is your soulmate but that doesn't always mean we end up with our soulmate. So the possible outcomes, I think, is that this is just going to be a disappointment. So you need to reevaluate, uh, unfortunately. You are more positive and willing to put in this contentment, like I said, of time and energy. But I don't really see that happening on this person's side. It's like they're just bogged down with something until they can release the situation or whatever is going on that's burdening them. They just can't come forward to their queen of wands here that they want. Unfortunately. So, hopefully that'll change for you. If it doesn't resonate for you, I'm sorry. Uh, but take what does and leave the rest, okay? Thank you for joining me and have a good evening. Thank you.